All right, it appears that System Rescue CD has a new version, and we are looking at 2.5.0 right now on Spadry's Cup of Linux. This is System Rescue CD 2.5.0. And we're at the boot screen here, and you can see here that there are a number of choices that this gives you for different options. For instance, the first choice will allow you to boot standard 32-bit kernel with default options. You can also uh, have everything go into RAM. This way the CD-ROM can be removed. It requires 512 megs of memory to work. Um, there is a frame buffer console option. Um, okay, this boot the 32-bit system and use uh, the key map for American keyboards. So, I mean, there are tons of different options that this gives you for booting up and repairing your system. Let's go ahead with the default boot options and see what we get here. Okay, once your system rescue disk is booted, you're given some instructions here that will uh, that you can use for many different things, such as if you need to have read-write support for NTFS, it tells you how to do that. Also, you can access a graphical environment with this as well. Okay, and to simply do that, they it says to type wizard or start X. I'm used to typing in start X, so let's do that. Okay, now that the uh, XFCE has loaded up, we can actually go in here and we can have a look at all the applications you get. Now, once this boots up, it does open up a terminal as root. Okay, and you can see down here that you have a number of options. You can log out. There is the time. Um, you can minimize all windows and show the desktop. There are four workspaces. Okay, and then of course this is your uh, wired network connection here. Okay, and then down here you get the MLFM file manager. Hmm, I've never seen that one before, so I'm definitely going to have to have a look at that. You get the XF Burn CD DVD burning software, the Midori web browser. Uh, you get a text editor, most likely LeafPad, Gparted, which is very important for managing your disk partitions, and then a command prompt, which you already have open here. When we click on the CD icon, you will see that there are a number of other things that are listed here. Okay. You have a number of settings for the XFCE user interface. And then of course shortcuts to the default applications for the terminal emulator, the file manager, the mail reader, and the web browser. In accessories you get task manager, terminal, X archiver, and XF burn. In del development you get Gini, GVim, and Sandbox. In internet you get Midori and VNC viewer. In multimedia, you get ISO Master and XF Burn. In Office, you get EPDF Viewer. And then in System, here are the tools that you are going to use to uh, get your system uh, back up and running and working properly. You get MLFM2, which is a file manager similar to um, Midnight Commander. You get Gparted. Hardware Lister, HTOP, which is a resource viewer, Midnight Commander, Part Image, Show File Systems, Task Manager, Terminal, and Task Disk. All these tools are very important for restoring a system. And I'll go and I'll show you the MLFM2 
this is quite different because it lists all the files rather than having all the flashy pretty icons and that sort of thing but the thing is this is a nice file manager for for navigating your file system and one especially if you're transferring a lot of files from one place to another for instance let's say your computer crashed and you need, cannot boot into that system maybe there is some failure on there you may need to transfer and save as many files as you can to another device well this file manager will let you do that because you'll be able to access other volumes okay and then you can you will be able to go in and you will be able to uh, select um, other folders and that sort of thing that you can transfer your files to um, so this this would be very handy in an instance such as that I can remember there was a time where I had a where I had a hard drive failure and I couldn't boot into the system and using a file manager such as this was very helpful in uh, grabbing all of those files so all in all this looks like a very nice uh, competent uh, rescue system for getting your computer back up and running for troubleshooting or whatever those needs may be if you thought this was useful please comment and subscribe google plus facebook and twitter will keep you up to date every time i send a new video to my channel i would like to thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time mm -hmm.